peace be upon you today we are going to have a look at ubuntu 12.04 and its unity shell from a beginner's point of view from a point of view of a person who has just landed on ubuntu unity who has just landed on 12.04 someone who is upgrading from 10.04 the previous lts release and so on and so forth so this whole thing is your desktop at the top you have your panel on your left side you have your launcher and first let's go into the panel and then we'll go to the launcher your launcher works in a pretty way when you launch an application uh, it works uh, fine with that you can see the panel the menu in the panel are, no, uh, are not visible and it's low it gives a more seamless approach to the whole application for example right now i'm running the file manager not less so as you can see the menus are not visible how you can see them just ho hold your cursor over the top panel and you will be able to see them so it looks nice in a purpose that your whole application well, covers all your screen and then it looks good you see also in the as you just notice if you have observed your menu remain visible for 5 seconds before hiding so people who are new to uh, ubuntu 12.04 new to unity may also get the hint from there now let's uh, one thing more you have your indicators uh, integrated into the panel <coughs> this is uh, for your system uh, uh, functionings like you have your system settings your displays your applications that run on the startup your software checking for that whether you if you there are updates available instead of software up to date it will say updates available then you have your hardware uh, printers that are, have been attached to your system i don't have that's why it's not highlighted then you can lock lock your screen log out suspend and shut down next is your user account indicator as you can see you can easily switch between accounts just by uh, just by so cl clicking here so for example like if you have a system on which multiple accounts are there you can easily switch between them not a big deal then you have your time and date then you have your music uh, indicator and then you have your volume rocker system over here and your main mu music applications rhythm box integrated over here you can also go to the sound settings from here then you have your network then you have your messaging ma indicator that messaging indicator integrates chat that is your empathy for instant messaging and then broadcast is your giver that is for your, for your micro blogging and then mail is your thunderbird ubuntu one is the cloud storage provided by ubuntu 5 gb of it is free for every ubuntu user this is the god the text my desktop indicator like i am recording my screen so that's why it's coming over here now let's have a look at the launcher <coughs> at the top of the launcher is the, is your dash home from which you can invoke dash you can pin and lock applications to here for easy quick access so i'll just i will show you in a minute how you can bring and unlock applications over here this is your workspace switcher by clicking on it you can switch between workspaces there are also keyboard shortcut which i'll reveal in sh just a short time and this is your trash so first let's let's have a look at the dash this is your dash home as you can see home this is your dash home it it shows your recent apps recent files and downloads next is your <coughs> application lens that shows your recently used application installed applications also it shows your uh, apps available for download below the installed that i have hidden for the, at the moment and i'll explain to you uh, how i have hidden it next to your files and folder lens you have your recent uh, files and folders that you have accessed your downloads folder and then your folders your music here you can search for music that you want i don't have any music on my system 
but if you want music you can easily type in the name of the name of uh, album or a singer and get the buy the respective album from rhythm box through rhythm box sorry next is your video lens here you can search for uh, all these uh, uh, services uh, that are plugged into the video lens and you can for example let me quickly search ubuntu and we have 23 results of ubuntu and what happens when i click on any one of them it launches in your web browser your default web browser it launches in it you must have checked this news if you have not checked this news i recommend highly that you go ahead and check ubuntu for android you will really be amazed next come to the shortcuts when you long press the super key also called the windows key with the uh, on the keyboard with a windows logo on it i really don't like that the windows logo is on it but that's the way that's the world we live in if i get an opportunity i'll put a ubuntu sticker as soon as i find one so when you long press the super key you have your keyboard shortcuts that are visible to you so they are your launchers Uh, shortcuts for your launcher your dash hud i'll explain come to hud in a minute you switching between applications workspaces for example it says super s i showed you how the workspaces work from the with the clicking with the mouse you can also do super s to switch between to activate the workspace switcher similarly you have your other shortcuts for more functions of the windows that are open you see i have opened this application a uh, home that is my file manager without clicking anything how did i do that as you see if you long press it you have your numbers uh, allotted to each application on the launcher so, so what i had then earlier i had press super 1 and it launched home that is the file manager now let's come to adding applications to the launcher uh, so for example which application shall we add let's add a movie player you just drag it click and drag it to the launcher and set gets added over there if you want to remove it you can say unlock from launcher and it will remove itself you can also pick it and drag it to the trash and it will unlock it one more cool thing available in the launcher in 12.04 is that applications that supports quick list will have quick list so here you have your home folder and it will uh, tie into your uh, tie into your bookmarks that is let me show you in a minute so yeah you have your bookmarks uh, folders over here that are uh, selected by default and then the, you can right click on home and then easily go to the folder that you want directly from here same is the case with uh, chrome chromium and thunderbird and movie player and other applications are also supporting it so now let's come to hud what is hud hud is a new is a new and let me say it is something really amazing something really unique it's a way that changes the way you interact with menus it's a intent driven system all you have to do is press alt you can see head and menu bar alt is the key shortcut for opening her so let me press alt and this is your hud now at right now i'm on my desktop so the the functionalities of the desktop and the indicators can be accessed over here so if i want to shut down i can simply type shut down from here if i want to for example my you can see i am offline right now if i want to go online all i have to do is okay available sorry yeah 
see as I did available I will be available over here in a short while I believe MP3 was not running yes you can see I was I have been made available let me quickly show you MP3 MP3 is a default internet messaging client and it works well it is a simple applications application and it works well so let's quickly have a look at the your appearance setting and then we'll dive into the system settings in more detail by right clicking on this desktop and selecting change desktop background you get into the appearance setting of system settings here you can change the your desktop background for example Ubuntu 12.04 has uh, some an awesome collection of community wallpapers that are simply beautiful this is your default wallpaper for Ubuntu 12.04 precise pangolin and all the community wallpapers are excellent I really like all of them isn't beautiful gorgeous also you can change the behavior of the launcher for example right by default the behavior of the launcher is, is fixed so if if you want to enable auto hide all you have to do is turn it on and then you, the launcher will reveal itself when you take your cursor to the left hand side and that's as simple as that you can also make the changes so that the launcher reveals itself when you go to the top left corner also you can change the s sensitivity of the reveal so by a by moving the cursor to how much degree will the re launcher reveal itself you can also set it from here let's set it to fix over here in a minute <coughs> let's go to all setting so in your personal you have your appearance brightness lock keyboard layout language support my unity i'll come to my unity in a minute it's a third party application that i have already done a video about and i will post uh, a link to it in just a while after showing it to you privacy now this is something added to the 12.04 setup you can delete for example you have your applications your recent apps recent files showing up in the dash if you want to clear it out like you have been doing some personal work between a one hour a one day or one week you can say the past week and delete history if you want to delete all you can delete all and advance so you can set your time basis and uh, date basis and delete it in that manner you can also stop uh, to record stop the dash from recording the activity you can also check on which uh, files do you don't want to get show up in the dash and don't want their activities to be recorded you can also add uh, folders that you don't want to be recorded and show up in the dash applications also can be the same way followed and then this is diagnostics so yeah, your additional drivers if you have drive if you have hardware in your system like wireless card your graphics driver that have proprietary uh, for example and we uh, by default want to for example i have a nvidia 9800 gt card i am currently running the open source <coughs> drivers but if you want to have access to the proprietary drivers by clicking it it will search for the earlier drivers available for your machine and in a minute it will show up yes so drivers are available for my graphics card but I do I have not find any use for them at the moment you have a bluetooth color display also if you have a multi monitor setup so uh, right now I only have a single monitor but if for example I have two monitors over here you can select on which monitor do you want the launcher to be placed like if you have two monitors side by side you can pay select the launcher to be placed on the left one or you can select to the launcher to be on both here yeah uh, let's have a look at your sound settings for a minute this has also been upgraded in 12.04 you have your uh, whole C it has been all integrated into one yeah I have my speakers connected and my headphones connected you can change the settings from here uh, my mic is also connected and working well you have your sound effects and applications now for example you are running two or three applications you are watching a video on YouTube and at the same time you are watching 
something or doing some work that you have to hear audio from some place so you can if you have if you have multiple applications running over here then you can decrease the volume of it of a part one particular application and also mute it so it is a very handy tool you have your backup that is your deja software that is provided for backup it also backs up to the ubuntu one that is your 5 gb storage that you have online in details by clicking on details it will show you me the details of the machine that i am running so you can set your default applications from here ways functions can also be accessed over here and you have a time and date universal access and user account so let's have a look at hud also in a more distinguished manner so if i want to go to add-ons normally what i would have to do is i take my cursor to the tools okay my friends uh, has just notified me that makes it a trending articles in linkedin let me tell you that <laughs> let me tell him that i'm making a screencast right now so if i want to go to the and you, you as you have seen dash the way notifications comes up in an awesome way totally states all stays out your view and there is also does its purpose on notifying you so we will be yes going to the add-ons now normally what you do is you will go to tools then add-ons and so on and so forth with her all you can do is add-ons and add-ons are available so that's the way it works beautifully applications like gimp are supporting uh, the hud right now there are some applications like the default uh, office suite that we have uh, default libre office it is not uh, supporting hud completely right now but we i hope that by 12.04 final release it will let's see on which version of libre office we are running 3.5.2.2 so it's really nice Also, I will put this link in the show in the description. The people who are wanting to or looking forward to switching Ubuntu, there are some things that they should keep in mind. For example, you have to leave your habit that thinking that the every computer is Windows. It is not. So in Linux, in GNU Linux, there is a whole different ecosystem. It works in a different way. I believe it works in a better way for me and I hope it will also work in a better way for you but then you have to understand and learn or something about it it's not like you see it and there it is so I'll put the, the link to this uh, blog in the description and you can check it so that's about it with 12.04 and I hope this may prove helpful to you and thanks for watching